good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're okay? Yeah. You? Very well, thank you. Did you lose? <coughs> I don't ask. I hate to say it. Big, bigger shirt, or? Bigger shirt. XXXL. <laughs> 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 right, okay. Um, Jürgen, obviously, we've heard Javi Alonso this afternoon saying that I had a good meeting with Bayer Leverkusen and I informed them that I will stay and continue at the club use the break to reflect and make my decision. How relatable is it to you, a young manager, staying in the Bundesliga at a club where he's done really well and on the flip side of that, is there any disappointment that it seems that Xavi will not be the manager that succeeds you here at Liverpool? I, the one part I can speak about is the, like a young manager being at a club where he's doing really well, so that's what I can had a similar situation and, and and did pretty much the same if you want um, and never regretted it so that's everything pretty much everything I can say about it the club is doing an incredible job there uh, Liverpool has a good team probably will keep the team together I, I think that's possible this year as well so it's not in every year like that that um, and all years like that and um, so I I understand that he wants to do that, um, and for the for the other stuff, there's nothing I have to say about. To be honest, that's yeah, that's it. The focus is obviously very much on the football. So, how is the injury situation? Thinking Andy Robertson, how serious is that? Kanati, we didn't see it training yesterday. What's the situation there? And I take it Allison, Trent, Jota, Curtis Jones won't be available as well. Curtis is I'm not sure if he's away, but we've been training. Um, Ibu was the extra rest, extra rest day, nothing else. Robo, um, we take it a little bit day by day, so uh, we will see. We'll not train today, uh, but um, it's not as bad, um, so that's fine. And the other boys, uh, yeah, from next week on, step by step, I think they will join parts of team training and then team training, so we will see what we do with that. So they're not too far away, but not in yet. None of them was yet in a close to team training, but they all make their steps and so it's 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 positive. You should have checked on Darwin as well, take it he's he's fine as well as he's recovered. He's fine. He was he, he did his rehab during the week. Um, trained the first day partially uh, when we are since we are back partially and then since then he's in full training. Obviously, we look at this game and think that Liverpool have to take advantage because afterwards, obviously, at least one of your title rivals will drop points. So, how do you see this game against Brighton? Independent of the other game, obviously, because it's a, it's, it's a Premier League game and I can't remember us sitting here and I, and I told you that uh, a point would be great in a home game or in an away game. So, we, we go for three, that's clear, but we all know as well how difficult it is against Brighton. Uh, about is doing obviously an incredible job there, and uh, they are one of the. It's a, it's a different game against Brighton, definitely. Um, uh, I think we improved over the, uh, over the 18, 20 months since he's there, since we play them. Um, the first game was surprisingly when when I think we were the first opponent after he joined the club, if I'm right, and we had no clue what we have to expect. We knew how he played in his former club. We knew. What Graham did, um, but nobody knew how that would look in the end. It was quite impressive how quick he obviously um, uh, got the team in his way. Um, and since then, it only got better. And it's really impressive, a different way of playing football. So uh, we need this. We'll come to that later, but we need a really, really, really good atmosphere and understanding the game as well because um, it's a possession, they want possession, we want possession, and it's about that that we really need to have more possession in, in recent games against them. It's the best way to defend them when they have the ball, you have to be ready to suffer. You cannot, it's not a normal pressing game, they play it in a different way. It goes a bit against our rhythm, which we usually like, but we have to break their rhythm. So it will be um, super interesting, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, but with all respect to Brighton, we want to win this game. It has nothing to do with the other game, obviously. So, like all the other games as well, we want to win. Um, will it happen? I don't know. But we will give it a try. This part of the season is obviously the one where um, we brought ourselves in a position where we are in a position to fight for everything. And that's what we want to do. So, if you would have told me last summer, 
um, after the international break in March, you will be around there with Arsenal and City. I would have said, yeah, give me a contract, I sign it now. I couldn't coach that, it goes against my personality. <laughs> So, um, but it's good. It's a good watch, um, and um, it's um, very demanding for the players. It's um, clear positioning, hold your position, keep your position, pass in the right position, pass in the right moment, and that is. He's a top coach. Huh? He's doing really well. Um, it's super interesting to see. Um, and I, I like watching them, to be honest. Um, but um, for the moment, that makes it tricky. It's just a, it's just a different way. It's possession-based, but even more um, uh, structured from a from a positional point of view of each player than maybe City or whatever, uh, has a bit more freedom in. But they they do really well, and they um, they uh, in on their day, they can beat any team. But now, good news, we can do that as well, and so we will try. And in the context of the, the title race, you've been in this position before, obviously, Jurgen. What's the, the one key attribute if you're going to be successful in this final push that any team needs to be? Give absolutely everything and ignore the, the, the mess you try to create. With after each game, you won it, you lost it, now you are champion, now you're out, now you have no chance anymore, now you have to do it. So just ignore that. Just dig in and go. So we have to give absolutely everything in each and every game, home, away, in England, in Italy, wherever we go. It's for us potentially 12 games for sure, maybe 14, maybe 15. That's a, I would say that's not the biggest number, but it's only a short period of time. So um, it's all tricky and we need luck. Everybody needs luck with injuries now. We didn't have that so far. Hopefully we have it now when the boys coming back. We need them. Um, and then it's in each game to find a way to win the game and not, we have, I think, we found for us a way how we, how it's good for us to play. Um, and that's what we have to do. And before the break, we had two games, United and City, uh, in parts of these games were the best games we played this season. City definitely after 15 minutes never played as good against City. United after 15 minutes, um, outstanding, didn't finish it off. The last 30 minutes or the extra time was too much for us that day. Um, that I saw that as well, but that's normal. We had a, a really tough period before that. Now we are back. I would love to say we are all re-energized, but the boys had games. But any, anyhow, it's good because we play on Sunday. Last game was Wednesday morning in America. I think Maka had that. Uh, but that's enough time to recover, and now let's go. Uh, you know, just broadening things out from the Alonso situation, do you think just in general expectations on players transitioning into coaches at the top level is unrealistic at the moment? I mean, can you, can you imagine taking on a big job like Liverpool 18 months into your time at Mainz, for example? I have no idea. I, I, I cannot think myself anymore in that situation. I, w w w do you think he didn't? He's staying at Leverkusen because he thinks no, I just mean it's too quick. Expectations on players in general transitioning to coaching. Nothing. That's, I don't think you can compare that with other. I think Xabi is now doing I'd like. I'm not sure how much Leverkusen you watch, but if you watch them from time to time, that's really impressive. It's not that they, he just built on last year or whatever, stuff like this, or he put a, an idea on the pitch and they, they stick to it and they are incredible. On top of that, they do, they created a mentality which is really special. We won a lot of late games, they won a lot of late games, it's crazy, um, and these kind of things. So, um, you cannot say for former players, it's like this or like that. For some, it might be too early, for others not, but I, I don't know. Matthews? Yeah, again, you pointed out the intensity of the footballing schedule between now and the end of the season, and particularly in, in the month of April. How much do you think you can be helped by the players that are beginning to come back and, and you have... Oh, you, you know, you have some of some of the real big hitters, Mo's back in the picture, and, and good signs with some of the others. How much of a, of a helpful influence? Oh yeah, but that's what I mean. With luck, we need them back. They need to be back. They are not tomorrow back. They are not Sunday back. But 
probably not next week, but then step by step, we have to get through all these different periods. And then the boys who come back need to actually don't have time to find their feet again, even when they were out for a long time. They have pretty much to deliver. That all works. If we, if we just agree on one fact, it's, it starts all with defending. It starts for us all with counter-pressing. If you do that well, then we have the rhythm to play football. If you just are concerned about playing football or whatever and these kind of things, then we are out, how he said. These are all these are all finals for us. It is like that. So it doesn't mean you cannot lose one or whatever. It just means it, it, it is a final each of these games. But that should not put us in a rush or whatever. That we have to win the final in the first three minutes. Um, we, it's, we have to play them like normal football games. Thank God we play already played already 28 games or whatever this season and uh, and learned that as a group together how. You can react in a game, how you can find a way into the game, sometimes from the start, sometimes we need a few minutes to, 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 to learn uh, from the game. Um, and how I said, you ask a lot of times over the year about these kind of things, and as, as it's not that we don't want to talk about it, we just don't know, but now it's not important anymore. Now we are where we are, um, and these are last 10 games. It's too early to, to see the, the finishing line, but at least it's not... It's, we are 28 games further than the beginning of the season. So that is an, we got a few really important information and a lot of answers I liked on questions we didn't know um, how to answer the beginning of the season. And yeah, I think everybody is, is, is excited about it and rightly so. So and, and, and Anfield will be rocking on Sunday. So and that must feel all we have not only home games unfortunately, but we have still a few and they must there we must make the difference. And wherever we go we have to ignore the fact that it's not a home game. Well because they're all tricky. Wherever it is, um, they're all tricky and we Yeah. We have to play actually our best football and get results. But that's how it is if you want to win. The Premier League. <laughs> That's how it is. You win and want to win anything. You you need to play top, top, top football. You need to be lucky. But I hope we are from now on with injuries and then let's see what we can do. I know you mentioned a couple of weeks ago that you thought there was the possibility of Stefan Bajetic maybe being able to, to, the to, to join him with the group. And he's had horrendous luck with injuries yeah. this season after an incredible start to his career with Liverpool. If he is able to, to join the group and maybe play a part, how much do you think he's been able to learn during the period when he's he's been out, you know, in, in different ways? Football, brain-wise, he's a natural. So that don't think he lost anything. But rhythm is something else. So um, he will is now in partial training with the U21s. He will be in full training with the 21s next week because we pretty much don't train because we play all the time. And then after that, he will join our training. That's the plan. So. And then we will see. But the boy grew, put a few muscles on, so um, looks good. Um, Connor Bradley didn't need long after he was lo out for a long, long time as well. So um, he's a smart kid. So I, I think he will be fine. But um, what do I know? I have never been that long injured in that age group. So um, he watched definitely a lot of football. He, but it's not that he played with us now. For um, regularly, so he, he played early in the season. I forgot it actually, but he did, um, and then everything went the wrong way. So, but now he's nearly back, and really happy for him and happy for us. Thank you. Welcome. Well done for the breakout. Yeah. Next up, Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome.